Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make explosion effect with shakes and zooming. Select your video and go to tracker, click on track camera. As the analyzing is done, we will need to select some points on the ground, if in your video there is not enough points on the ground like in my case, select points on the car, right click and select, create null and camera. Now let's bring the explosion green screen video. I will leave a download link in the description of this explosion. Link explosion video to track null and enable 3D on it. Press S on your keyboard and scale as much you need. Change X, Y and Z rotations, then position the explosion where you want it to be. Now add keel eyed effect. Click on eyedropper tool and select the green screen to remove it. Duplicate your video now to make the explosion behind the car. Move duplicated layer to the top and rename it to car only. Now grab a roto brush tool, delete 3D camera and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car perfectly. Once you are done selecting, click on freeze button. Once the freezing is done, go back to composition. Under the roto brush, add feather a bit to smooth the edges of the car. You can position your explosion where you want and also you can duplicate it and make them as much as you will enjoy. I will duplicate one more and let's start making shake effect and zooming. Once you are happy with your explosion's position and scale, let's change timing of them. So, my first explosion will be at the beginning of the video and the second one will be in several seconds. I will move my second explosion forward a bit. Nice, I'm happy. Now let's make shake and zoom effect. Create new adjustment layer. From the beginning of the layer, hold shift and press page down 4 times to go 40 frames forward. Cut there the adjustment layer. Now add motion tile effect. Click on tile center stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Move tile center down a bit like in this video. Hold shift and press page down to go 10 frames forward and change tile center up now. Hold shift and press page down to go 10 frames forward again and change tile center down. Go 10 frames forward and change tile center up now. Go to the very end of the layer. Right click on tile center and select, reset. Shake is ready, let's fix the edges. Toggle on mirror edges and change output height to 120. Nice. Now add directional blur on that layer. Change blur length to 15. Make sure you are at the very beginning of the layer and click on blur length stopwatch icon. Now go in the middle of the layer and change blur length to 0. Amazing, I'm happy. Press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes. Select all tile center keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Also enable motion blur on that layer. Duplicate now that shake layer and move it where the second explosion is. Shake effect is ready, now let's add zooming in effect like in JRY Media's reels. Create one more adjustment layer. Add transform effect on it. Go to the moment where the explosion starts from and click on position and scale stopwatch icons. Now go a few frames forward like this and increase the scale, also change position to focus on explosion. Press U to see created keyframes. Copy second keyframes and paste them near where the second explosion is. Then go to the moment where explosion starts from and scale a bit, also change position to focus on the second explosion. Then go few frames forward, right click on scale and select, reset. Right click on position and reset it as well. Enable motion blur on that layer. Then select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Under the transform, uncheck the use composition shutter angle and set shutter angle to 360, this will add motion blur to scale and position. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.